Eternal God of heaven, Father, we come before you first to say thank you. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, your kindness, and your love, God. God, you've been good to us. And for that, we want to let you know that your goodness and your kindness has not gone unnoticed or unappreciated. God, we pray now that you come into the midst of these, your people. You know what we need and what we stand in need of. Hallelujah. Just have your way. God, move up and down every aisle, in and out of every pew. Touch, heal, deliver, and set free. Yes, God, have your way. Have your way. <laughs> Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Uh, Hallelujah. Have your way. Uh, yes, move on us today. Uh, for we need you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, God, I pray that you rest on me now. I've spoken with you all week long, God, for turn, concerning this assignment. Now I pray, God, that you hide me where the people will see none of me but all of you. And God, we'll be ever so careful to give your name the glory, to give your name honor and praise. We'll tell men and women everywhere that you did it, that your son might be glorified. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. Come on, put those hands together and give God some glory. Come on, praise him like you love him. Come on, magnify him. He's worthy. He's worthy. Woo! I am so glad. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. But I am so glad I did not miss Sunday school. <laughs> I am so grateful. I did not miss Sunday school. Lord have mercy. Certainly we do honor our, our leader. Amen. And amen. Our pastoral team. Amen. We honor them. Amen. Amen. We do. We do love them. Amen. Amen. And amen to our district missionary. And amen. And amen, Mother Anderson. And just all of you God's people. Amen. All these clergy in whom I serve with. Amen. Amen. The deacons, all of you. Amen. Every, all of you in Zoom. Amen. We, we praise God for you. Amen. 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 And I do thank God for this opportunity and privilege. Amen. To share a word on this last Sunday. Amen. Amen. In the month, in the year of 2001. 21. I'm sorry. 21. Thank you. Thank you. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway. Uh, Amen. It's been a it's been a, a roller coaster of a year. It's been a roller coaster of a year. Amen. And, and um, as was said earlier, a lot of us have lost loved ones and uh, friends, and just we we've been in a place of loss. Amen. But God is still a keeper. Amen. Amen. But I just want to encourage you on today to know that God has never left us. He has never left us. Amen. I put it this way. He never left us alone. Amen. 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 We want to go right into the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. But I do want to share a little declaration I want you to get excited about. And the declaration is simply, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Regardless of what you left home, regardless of what trouble you faced, this is the day that the Lord has made and we will, we will rejoice and be glad. 
that in it. Come on, you got to take the declaration personal. I know some of you that have been in some storms and rain, some heartache and pain, some trouble, some, some tribulation, some, some heartache, some heartbreak, but this is the day that the Lord Woo! Okay. Woo! I know you've been upset at some folk. You've been you've been you've been dogged out by some people. You've been betrayed. You've been woo, okay, all right. But I just come by to let you know this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo! Amen. Before I go any further, let me honor my wife, amen, who takes care of me. Lord have mercy. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You... Ooh, I, I don't know how I make it some days. Amen. But we do honor her. Amen. I do. I praise God for it. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, amen. St. Luke, chapter 8, and verse 43 through. 48. Amen. Yeah. St. Luke. Uh, chapter 8. And verse 43. Very familiar story. And you see these words. And a woman having an issue of blood. 12 years which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her issue of blood stenched. And Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied Peter, when all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude thronged thee and pressed thee and sayest thou who touched me? And Jesus said, somebody have touched me for I perceive that virtue is gone out from me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came and trembling and falling before, uh, before him. She declared unto him and before all the people for what cause had, had she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. Uh -huh. Amen. And there goes the reading of the word of God. Amen. Thank you. Amen. That woman, when she saw that she was, she wasn't hid anymore. She had to confess that it was me that pulled on you. It was me that was in trouble that needed you and needed some help from you. Uh, needed, needed, needed to be healed. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was me. It was me. Yeah. And so sometimes, sometimes when you when you look at that story, you you look at the fact that she was sick a long time. For 12 years she had an issue. Of blood. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. 
for 12 years, for 12 long years, she had an issue. Uh, have you ever been in a situation where uh, you needed God so bad? You know, you, you, you've been in one of those situations where nobody could help you but God. My, 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 my. <laughs> you, you, you've been in one of those situations where, where, and times where, where, where you prayed and you, and you used all of your intellect, all, all your ability, all of your resources, everything that you had only to find out that it wasn't enough. That it wasn't it wasn't enough to get you to where you needed to be. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, uh, 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 you, you know, we, uh, he, he was the only one who could help her. After you have exhausted all of your resources and, and had, and, but, but you remember, you remember that the, the word told us in Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Mm -hmm. So in, instead of going to the, to the doctor in the alley, Dr. Buzzard and Sister Lucy, all of them, you know, God would direct you to a, a specialist. Okay, all right. Okay. God would give you insight into somebody that can really help you. And a lot of times that we have our issues because we go to the wrong people. We talk to the wrong people. And a lot of times the issue is not things and people and stuff. The issue is you. My God. That's good, Reverend. So we won't, we, we don't want to look at ourselves and say the issue is me. Uh -huh. Yeah, for 12 years, this woman walked around with a problem. And she went to all the people that she thought could help. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But then you have to go back to the word of the Lord. Amen. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. Uh, as we look, as we look at the text, we see this woman who has no name, but she has a major problem. Uh, that, that she has been dealing with for a very long time. Uh, if I can use my, in the words of Bishop C.E. Anderson, if I can use my sanctified imagination, <laughs> I see this woman uh, in, in her house praying uh, to the Lord saying, Lord, uh, you all I have. <laughs> God, you all I got. <laughs> <laughs> you all I got. <laughs> she, she going back and forth over and over. She's saying, God, you all I got. God, you all I got. <laughs> I don't have nothing else. I don't have nobody else I could turn to. You all I got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, God, you all I got. You all I got. Oh, she's saying it over and over. I don't have anything. I don't have anybody to help me. Oh, but you all I got. Hey, I've spent all my money trying to get away. Uh, so she's down on her knees and she's pushing at this point now. She's really pushing now. And then we know that push means uh, praying to something happens. She's pushing now. Yes, yeah, she's pushing now. God, you all I got. You all I got. Oh, and after she finished pushing, yeah, she then starts to praise him. See, after you done pushed, after you done pushed, it's time for you to praise him now. It's time for you to praise him for your deliverance. Praise him for your healing. Praise him for your breakthrough. Praise him for your new beginning. It's time for you to praise him. Yeah. 
So we done pushed. Now it's time to praise. Hey, so, yeah, she praising him now. Yeah. yeah. The Bible says, and, and then First Peter, uh, Sister McNeil, First Peter, uh, 5 and 10. But the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, will make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. But I need you to understand you have to get to a place where you say, God, you all I got. This is when you understand this. God, you all I got. You don't went to the loan office so much the people tired of seeing you. But when you understand that God is your source, he is your source. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. He is your source. Woo! So the Bible says that the woman gets from where the woman gets behind Jesus, where Jesus is, and she touches him. Yeah, she touches him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the hem of his garment. And immediately, immediately, she was healed of her issue. I wish this was a setting where I could tell you to, 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 to go to three people and slap them a high five and, and, and say, uh, God has taken care of my issue. Just look at somebody and say, God has taken care of my issue. <laughs> He's taking care of my issue. He's taking care of my issue. Hey. Mark chapter 11 and verse 24 says, Therefore I tell you, whatsoever you ask, in prayer, believe that you receive it, and you will, and it will be yours. It will be yours. It will be yours. Glory to God. Psalm 107. And verse 19 and verse 20. Then they cried out to the Lord in, in their trouble. And he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them. Delivered them from their destruction. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> my, 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 my. Hey! I'm almost out of your way. Woo! Glory to God. Come on, to look at your neighbor to neighbor. God is all I got. Mark chapter five, verse 34. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be free from your suffering. Woo! I need some help right here. I need some of you who've been, who've been dealing with the issues to just stand right where you are. Stand right where you are. And we're going we gonna to pull on God together. We're going to do like this woman. We're going to pull on him. Yeah, because see, when he looks at the sincerity of the heart. We're going to pull on him. You and your issue. 
Come on, look to what happened and say, God, you all I got. God, you all I got. God, you all I got. Woo! Third John 1 and verse 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. God wants you to be healed. He wants you to live it, and he wants you to be made whole. It is the enemy who wants to see you bound. He gets delight in that. But it is God who wants you to be free, who wants you to be delivered, who wants you to be healed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. Glory to God. I remember back in the days I would be sitting over there. The choir stand would be full. And Sister Dorothy Barnett would be somewhere right out of in here. And she would say these words, have you any rivers that seems uncrossable? Have you any mountains that you cannot tunnel through? God specializes in things impossible and he will do what no other power no, no other power can do. Then she would go on to say, God specializes. God specializes. He specializes. <laughs> That's why you can't go with the first diagnosis you get. You can't always go with the first prognosis you get. That's why they have specialists who specialize in certain areas. In certain areas. He specializes in certain areas oh, to bring you relief. My, my, my. She would sing that thing with such conviction, such passion, that you believe that God really specialized in things that were impossible. That, they, uh, that he would take you over bridges <laughs> that was uncrossable. <laughs> but God specializes. <laughs> then the Bible tells us in Luke. In Luke 13, there is a story recorded there. Luke 13 and 10. About a woman who had the spirit of infirmity. I need you to understand that there's some, some things that come on us in the physical that has everything to do with our mental. The reason the woman was bent over for 18 years like that was because she, she dealt with a spirit of depression 
that affected her physical. Uh -huh. So even when all the religious leaders was upset, when Jesus healed her, all he did was speak to her and told her to stand up. Because it was a condition that affected her mentally. Some of us are walking around with that same spirit. Maybe not in the physical posture of the woman, but our minds are depressed about things and stuff. Uh, yeah. Notwithstanding that the woman's affliction was wholly mental, her bowed over form being the result of her depressed mind. The people thought that Jesus had healed uh, a physical disorder. Although the congregation of the synagogue in Philadelphia was friendly toward the teaching of Jesus, the chief ruler of the synagogue was unfriendly, the Pharisees. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I need you to understand but that, 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 that group of the Pharisees and the Sadducees, uh, the Sadducees, when you break the word down, you'll find out they were sad, you see. Okay, let me, let me go on. on. Yes, David. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. All right, I'm about at my, my close now. But in this season, going into our new, our new year, if you don't take nothing away from what I said today, I need you to know that God is all you got. And God is all you got is when, when, when all you need is God then he's all you got. Hallelujah. Everyone standing to your feet. And while you're doing it, open your mouth and give God your best praise. Come on. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Give him your best praise. Come on. As I was studying the, as I was studying early this morning this, this lesson, I kept hearing waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. I kept hearing it. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are my Jehovah, Je Je Jehovah Shalom, my Jehovah Jireh. You're my everything. Who you are fence all around me. Woo! Yes, God, you, you, you're the fence all around me. And right where you are, I need you, I need you to know that God is real. And whatever it is that you're battling right now, if you're not, if you're not afraid to step right into this aisle, come on, step right into this aisle if you're not afraid. So that we can trust God and believe God together. And I believe that God is going to turn some things around for you. If you can believe God, he can turn some things around for you. And it don't take him long. It take us long, but it don't take him long. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. And while you're standing in that aisle, while you're standing in that aisle, I want you to believe God in the same way 
that that woman with that issue did. Come on. It's more people than that that need God to do something. You need him to move now. You done exhausted everything. You, 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 done, you done tried your intellect. <laughs> you done tried your influence. You done used all of your resources. Now I need you to believe God. Here we are, God. Here we are. God, we realize today that you are a way maker. You are a promise keeper. Yes, God. You are God. You are God. You are a keeper. You are a keeper. Yes, God. Now, God, I come before you now on behalf of these, your people. You know the need is great. They're pulling on you now. They're pulling on you by faith, God. Hallelujah. Now, God, I pray that you dispense whatever the need is. Yes, God. God, send healing. Send deliverance. Send wholeness. Send peace of mind. God, restore families. God, do it. You're able to turn things around. Give us the testimony that we can declare to men and women everywhere. Hallelujah, that it was you that did it. And God, we'll take no credit. But we'll give you all the glory. We'll give you all the honor. And we'll give you all the praise. Uh, as we go into the final thrust, God, of the new year, we pray that you be the same God that you have been through generations. And we'll stand on your word. We stand on your word. We declare your word. We rebuke you. We pray you rebuke the enemy on every hand. Cast the devil out of our minds. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. You are God. You are everything. You are all we got. You are all we got. And we're standing in your word, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, we're clapping hands. We celebrate God. We celebrate you for what you're doing. We celebrate you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. God, we thank you for the, the hearing of your word, God. We thank you, Lord, for your deliverance of your word, God. Hallelujah. We pray, God, that you would hide this word in our heart, that we might not sin against you, oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, God. If anything that has been missed, God, you've seen it, God. You know all about it. And we pray, God, that you rectify it, you change it, you turn it around for your glory and for your honor. Now, God, as we leave this place, but never from your presence, it is our prayer that you would go with us, get us to our destination safely without hurt, harm, or danger. Hallelujah. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his presence. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. And let the people of God say amen, amen, and amen.